Hey everybody, we are back. I'm actually here at Milby again, but this time I've got Drew helping me out today. He's gonna give me a few tips uh, or help me out a little bit with cross-step throwing, whatever. And then after that, we're just gonna play around and that'll be another video. But anyways, we'll yeah, take over. Yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up, right? So we had our instruction video, which you said that you've worked on a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen it, you've, you've gotten your walk up, yeah. right? Um, you're not rounding with your standstills. You are yeah. rounding a little bit with your walk up. So yeah, we're yeah. gonna clean up some things and also apply some principles that I've learned through watching recent videos like the Paul Euliberry scratch to scratch video. Love that series. And just kind of putting things together so we can help continue reinforcing the motor skills that you're learning. Uh, also, I really appreciate the color scheme that you came yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. This is what I wear all the time. <laughs> Sometimes I wear a blue long sleeve shirt, but blue and black are typically my uh, my colors. Totally so unplanned, that. but I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna file it under great minds think alike. Yeah, that's so. exactly right. I'm trying to make it my mini me. So yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So just an, um, some observations on okay. your recent videos is okay. that um, your standstills when mm -hmm. you're and I'm gonna throw lefty so I can face yeah, you yeah. right. But what you're doing when you're gearing up is mm -hmm. you are coming out a little more. Okay. And you're coming through. Okay. Okay. That is a great thing. That is a huge improvement okay. on before where you were really behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were pulling up by your yeah. neck. Yeah. <laughs> pulling up by your neck and then coming out. Right? Okay. So we want to make that happen on okay. your cross step. Okay. And what's happening now is when you do your cross step and you're turning away, what you're doing is you're turning away and you're putting the disc at your pec or even your mid chest level. Okay. And you're still ripping through rounding. Okay. okay. Right? And I know that because you're still in the mentality of you're trying to eat the disc. Yeah. Right. Right. So what we want to do is we want to think quick action. Okay. Right. And just let the disc do the work. Okay. Okay. Do whatever you need to do. Don't try too hard and just let the disc do the work. Okay. okay? Now, full disclosure, guys, we have a left to right headwind right now. So we're yeah. not doing ourselves any favors yeah. with distance or even flight characteristics. So be mindful of that it's probably yeah. like five, 10 miles an hour. We just have a little spot of shade here. That yeah, we're, we're doing from. ourselves a favor with shade, but we're not doing ourselves a favor with wind. So just to let you know, uh, if, if we're shanking our discs, it's the wind. Yeah. Plus these are cheap DX put, uh, AVR putters and they've been abused over, over the last yeah, year. Yeah, we probably won't throw them. these. Honestly, we'll, I'll probably give you some more overstable stuff from my bag to yeah. throw just so we can get a little bit more of a flight. Yeah. But um, yeah, so so one thing that I learned from Paul Euliberry's video, Scratch to Scratch, is the connection of the arm and the opposing leg. And when, we realize this when we walk, right? When we're walking, we swing the opposite hands and legs yeah. forward, right? We're, we're connected that way because way back when humans used to walk on all fours, right? Yep. That's how we would walk. Babies, when they crawl, you see that. So you want to connect your body. And I hear a lot of pros talk about this. Uh, I took a, a lesson with, you know, a, a local pro out in Austin. Yeah. And he was just saying, your body's not connected. Your body's not connected. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? Yeah. Right. <laughs> so what happens is, is when you do your cross step, when you step over and behind, what I'm thinking of now is if my back leg is swinging yeah. forward, then my front arm's coming forward with it. Uh, Paul calls it a pump. So we step, pump, and then when we come back, I'm gonna pull um, slingshot disc yeah, over yeah. now with the Heisman, right? This yeah, is the yeah. Heisman position. Is with Paul, with Paul uh, McBeth's um, arm swing in and yeah. getting that disc lag, so I'm timing this back arm, this mm -hmm. left arm, if you're throwing righty, with my right leg, and I'm gonna hit in when my foot touches. Got it, okay. Okay, so I'm in, and then my back leg is connected with my front arm again. Okay. I'm pushing, and I'm rotating over. Okay. So I'm using my whole body, I'm connecting it. So step, step, forward. You see the disc is moving with my back leg, Okay. right? So here, turn back, right? Arm in, and that pushes your body, that pushes my body in okay. to where I'm not angled like this, right? Okay. It's pushing me forward and putting my weight down here so it's distributed evenly. And then when I'm pulling through, I'm pushing off my back leg and my disc is going with it. Okay. And as I'm, I'm rotating, then I'm extending outwards and throwing it out. Okay. So we're gonna slow this down for you. Yeah, yeah. And I want you to think uh, right arm, left leg. Okay. Left arm, right leg. Okay. Okay. So let's go through your walk up. Okay. I noticed when you were just doing some practice ones, you mm -hmm. held the disc here, held the disc here, which yeah, is yeah. fine. Okay. 
but I want you to think about connecting everything. So, so why don't you do it with me? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna step left leg first. Okay. Right leg over. Okay. We're gonna pump. Pump. Come back. Come back. Arm in. Okay. Arm in. Yeah. So do your Heisman. Okay. Okay. Arm in. Arm. Okay. Arm and then in. push off and throw. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna not throw it, but I just wanna see if I yeah. can. Step, pump, yeah. Something like that? Yeah, that's actually really good. That's okay. really good. Okay. Um, in terms of your timing, that's really good. Okay. Yeah. So in terms of my timing relative to the universe. When, when you pump, <laughs> right, it's, it's almost like you're throwing an elbow. So you're not bringing the disc out here. Although you can. Okay. I know Brad Williams, he'll extend his arm straight. Paul okay. McBeth also extends his arm straight and okay. then comes back. But just for simplicity. Something like yeah, that. That's, that's, not, that's not bad. Actually, I'm going to retract what I just said. Okay, okay. If that works for you, that works for yeah, you. Let me see. Because I, I have tried in the past to do something like this. Uh huh. With the pump, because I've seen pros do it. Um, whether or not I can actually. Take so, the but landing. again, it, it's a pump. So you're not you're not sticking the disc forward. Okay. A lot of the um, mistakes I'm trying to keep you from doing. Okay. Is that some people line up like this, and then they'll go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we want to prevent. Okay. And that's why I say, well, pump the elbow out. Don't okay. pump the disc out because the disc has to make its way all the way back here. Okay. If you can minimize that movement okay. and you can keep it more consistent, it's going to be helpful to your game. Okay. Let me try without doing anything. Let me just do a walk up. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. So your steps are fine. Okay. Now it's sinking the upper body with the lower body. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. That's actually really good. Okay. Yeah. I thought just because there's a lot to think about that yeah. maybe you would struggle with it, but you've- I'm probably short circuiting somewhere, but- You're not actually, your, your timing's really good. I'll yeah. have to- And also what I'm learning is, um, so my bad habit is I will just go through, uh... right? And I'll just, and I'll go, for example, with tempo, I'll go- Okay. One, two, three, four, and I keep everything the same. Got it. What uh, the guy from Slingshot Disc Golf says is slow down that last step, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four. And that might make sense, like, because I know there's this. This, by doing, by slowing it down, I guess it allows the rest of your body to catch up and then pull, exactly. pull beyond it. Exactly, or because for the disc to go from here okay. and your arm to go from here yeah. to here takes time. Got it. Right? Something it takes, like... it's moving this much space. Got it. So when you're like here, here, and then you're, you're reaching. You're, you're stepping really quick. Yeah, yeah. The disc could be anywhere. Your arm could still be back here. Okay, so let me see. So if you want to time it up together. Yeah. Fast, 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 slow, boom. Yeah, because I think what I was doing before, I think this was just hanging out, having a good time. Let me see if I can involve this in the same thing. Yeah. Something like That's that. That's perfect. Okay. Let's start throwing, um, again, with headwind, probably don't want to throw the putter. Okay. Let's throw your mid, uh, your mid ranges yeah. or your. These are all my ways. neutral mid ranges. Infinite Exodus, which is an Eagle L. Got Ooh. a TL, T Bird Long. Fancy. Basically, your seven speed, maybe one fade discs. All right, we are ripping. <laughs> I kind of collapsed it there because I think about what happened there, but. That's fine. I mean, okay. I'm going to do a distance. test Again, run before I throw it. 10 mile an hour headwind, so. Yeah. Don't worry I'm, about that. I'm going to do a test run before that I throw, clean. and then I'm going to do it again. So. That looks clean. Okay, so. Something like that. Okay, that's, like, I can process what's going on there, which is kind of okay. dangerous. Good. Oh, I didn't do it right, but. So that was a product of your disc position and your pull through. Okay. I thought your timing was really good. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, did, you did go back and then cut across your neck again. Okay. Uh, FD. Yes, sir. Ooh. Go maybe a little slower. I'm gonna do one more test run and then throw. No, see, I, I got off. That's off okay. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, if, I'm gonna throw the disc away from you. Throw the disc away from you. You're, you're, what you're doing is you're you're rotating. Okay and throwing it out here. Okay. As opposed to coming in and pushing the disc pushing away from you. Out. But Got you it. want that line, even though you're moving in a circular motion, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. coming in and out. Let it come out. Got yep. it. Okay. Do one more test run just to see sure. if I, I get that. 
Yeah. I tried at least doing that part, but I'm not sure if I did the That's arm fine. part. <laughs> now, one thing I'm seeing okay. with your grip okay is that you're putting your thumb right here okay on the rim like at the edge of the rim okay and that's not that doesn't give me a lot of grip, okay right so what i did and this helps with throwing nose down because okay. here it could flop anyway right okay is i moved my thumb more in more in like to that. a place where it's comfortable everyone's okay. hands different right yeah yeah but i have more stability and i'm pushing the disc almost to a hyzer position okay. without it being hyzer so maybe something like that so move it maybe try like there that. and put some down pressure on that thumb Okay. And you're, so, you're pinching pressure. here. Pressing and for here. me, just on my fingers, what I'm doing is I'm using my back three fingers to mm -hmm. push the disc up push the disc into up. the meat of my thumb uh, to like keep that. it. Like yeah. that, right? Yep. Okay. So, so move your thumb in a little bit more. In a little is, bit more. Is that, does that feel more powerful yeah, that's and fine. controlled? It, it, not, it doesn't feel negative, so I, okay. could, I could get used to it. Okay. So cool. let me try that. Yep. And I'm going to do a test run first just okay. to see if I can... Okay. Yeah, so so watch the, the spin and keeping the disc close to your chest the whole way. Okay. Again, you're throwing outwards. Got it, got yep. it. Oh, I didn't sync this with you the thing. Know. Yep. Beautiful. Look at that. Well, that was probably my best throw so far. That, that's <laughs> been your best throw so far, yeah. Here you go. One more. All right. Um, get the. I'd say right now mm -hmm. is get another rep in. Okay. And um, try to do a little quicker. At, okay. In the last second. In the last part. In the last Slow part. Down just and explode a little bit faster. Okay. One more test run. Then I'm going to try it. Yep. Yep. So once that front foot hits, okay. explode through. Really push off that back foot. Okay. Oh, I didn't do that right. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, well, I have something to, to work with now. <laughs> yep. Uh, here, throw my fairways. So you can throw the instinct. Instinct, which is okay. So it's probably the same very much like T bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just made okay. a T bird. I mean, uh, so I am used to doing that, so I'll need to do that. Yeah, so, so if you're here and mm -hmm. we want you a little bit in here, like that where maybe? you feel control, right? Okay. When you're yeah, shaking is... the disc and it's not like. Yeah, this, yeah. But you're somewhat controlled and you yeah, see that the makes nose sense. and it's down. If you have it too much like this, it's too easy for this to wobble. Not but just like that, this. but when the disc comes out, there's mm -hmm. really no, there's nothing keeping it, uh, there's nothing giving it spin. Okay. Whereas if you're here, it's ripping out of your fingers, okay. right? It, that's what, that's where the spin comes from. Got it. Okay. Let me, uh, one more test run. <laughs> Let's move that thumb in a little bit more. Okay. Put it like, yeah, so right on top of the Disc Mania logo. Okay. Something like that. Oh, that was sink. weird. A little too much thinking. Yeah, too much thinking. Yeah, that's okay. Not enough instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> not what I it's wanted. Not bad. The headwind made it look a lot worse than yeah. it was. Here's an essence. <laughs> okay. Um, again, thumb here. Thumb over there. Okay. And then we'll work on your your reach back. Yeah, I'll slow it down and then her. speed it up. I think I was too uniform and therefore was out of sync. I think you should move normally because normally? you haven't demonstrated the inability to do this. It seems okay. like it's something that you're able to do. Okay. And I think if you slow it down, you'll think too much. Okay. So it's actually gonna throw you off. Okay. So I want you to just only think about really ripping it hard at the end. At the end, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. So I got to work on the motor skills clearly, but I'm starting. No, to get your, your it. motor yeah, yeah. skills are great. Actually, you picked <laughs> up on that a lot quicker than I thought you Yay. would. No, no offense to you. Yeah, yeah, no. But when you, when you, someone does. <laughs> if it, anyone's watched my previous videos, yeah, no, it's totally understandable. Well, you know, when you teach someone something new, you yeah, never yeah. know if, if they're, they're going to pick it up it. right away or not. And I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, so yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's get the discs and okay. we'll do round two. All right. All right, Nick. So we got the sink down, which yeah. is really good. I think. Yeah. That's not something you really have to think about as much. Okay. And like you just said, you might not kind of do this sort of pump before you're... Yeah, yeah. The, you're, I may not do a full pump. Like, yeah, like a full in, pump, right. Yeah. But you don't need to do a full pump. Yeah. You could, your pump literally could be here. Yeah. Right? But you're sinking, you're, you're engaging that front arm forward a little bit and then coming back. 
Okay. All right, so it doesn't have to be big. If you guys are trying to do this at home, it doesn't have to be a pump. Okay. Um, it could be just a little elbow yeah. shimmy. So uh, we're gonna work on your rounding with okay. your next step. Okay. Okay. And so, like I said, what you were doing is you are getting the backward shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. I think what's happening is that you're not pushing out. So you're here. Okay. And then you turn the shoulders and you put the disc straight out. Okay. Uh, you're still within your pec zone. Yeah, yeah. Or even when you're gearing up, I notice you turn back and you're yeah. trying to rip through hard. Yeah, I think, because one thing I, I, when, I, when I'm pulling back, reaching back, extending, whatever you want to call it, I'm actually doing this number, just ignore my legs for a yeah. second, but I'm basically doing this number. And so when I'm doing this, that's why it comes up. So, because right. I, I have tried in the past, like doing this, to get it like that, yeah. but a lot of times I completely forget that when I'm on the tee pad in actual sure. game, and I just, you know, I'm just bringing it up, and then, yeah. and I think because I, I trained myself early on yeah. to think of this when I'm throwing, mm. everything lags behind sure. that, so the elbow sure. doesn't come out. Okay. So now we have to quicken your arm pull. Okay. Right. Not a pull, but quicken the arm movement. Yeah, the actual swing. In, right. So yeah. that it syncs up because if you're like this, yeah, yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of distance. Yeah, yeah. Right. So first things first is one tip is when you're reaching back is to push out. Okay. Okay. Push away from you. Got it. But for you especially, because I know you've been doing this for a few years, right? So you have that muscle memory yeah. trained. It might not always help because you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. Right? One thing that you, Nick, need to do is trust mm -hmm. that even if it's weird, mm -hmm. it'll work. Okay. Okay. Because again, your mentality is you got to throw the disc really hard. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you've been doing for a couple of years. Yeah. You haven't re really let your body use its full potential yeah. to just sling the disc, right? Yeah. You're trying to strong arm the disc because that's how you've been able to yeah, get yeah. distance. So for you, you just need to trust that even if your disc is out here, mm -hmm. the tension in the arm and the energy created by your body Bring is going to propel the disc forward. Got it. All right. Yeah, because like one of the drills you were talking about was that in, out, in, out drill. You know, yeah. like, like out, in, out. So like out, in, out. And I found that hard to do when I'm actually trying to throw, but I can sort of do it. Don't even think about it. Okay. I don't think about that okay. anymore. Okay. okay. I just know that I'm going to stick it out here. Okay. And I'm going to end the disc out here. Okay. And if I don't do it, that's a faulty mechanic for timing. Okay. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I play rec, dude. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not a pro. I'm not a, you know, thousand rated player. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm probably like 870, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, I make mistakes too. Yeah, yeah. Right? And so, but I know that if I'm shanking to the right, if I'm throwing righty, yeah, yeah. it's because my timing is off and I haven't extended the disc outwards. Okay. I'm here and then I pull through and I continue, I do what you do and I yeah. rotate and I pull out here. Got it. Okay. And I need to focus more on. Right. So let me throw righty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for I'll, it. I'll kind of tell you what I'm talking about. And okay. I want you to focus. Can you stand over here, yeah. please? I want you to focus on how far the disc is away from my the center of mass of my body. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can stand behind. That okay. way you can get a better view. I hope I don't throw this in the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We'll have to safari. Oh, it's, a, it's not on the road. <laughs> right. You see how I came out here? Yeah. And I just came through there. Okay. Right? So, um, Slingshot, mm -hmm. one of his recent videos, he actually yeah, cuts, cuts a line down the middle of his body. Mm -hmm. And his body's over here, but his disc is out here. So he cut down the line about here. Yeah. He, see, he shows you how far the disc is from his body. When you come through with your arm, mm -hmm. you are having that whip effect. And all you have to worry about is where you release the disc, which is here, not here. Okay. So you're not pulling here, you're pushing the disc here. Let me see if I can do that. Sure. Stand still. So, kind of help me out here. Oh, let me do the thing there too. Okay, like that. Yeah. Okay, like that. Something like that? Yeah. Okay, let me grab another one. Yeah. So keep the disc away from your center of, gra of gravity. Right? Yeah, yeah. A little far out. Yeah. And just trust that that's enough power and that's enough space for you to get some. Now watch that thumb. Yep. Okay. Make sure. Yep. Something like that. Yeah. That's, that looks really clean. That looks really smooth. All right. Let me uh, see if I can get that. Stand still. That's 
where, if I were to, if my recollection is correct, yeah. that's where your full run up was with poor technique. Yeah. Right. So let's get this with the run up. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I rounded. So that was a straight reach back and a little bit of rounding. Okay. So when I, remember that Heisman uh, slow step? Slow it down. This is for training purposes only. Okay. Okay. I want the tempo to be one, two, sorry. Yeah. One, two, three. Right? Okay. And then, and then I want your foot to touch on five. All right. Okay. So one, two, three, four, four five. Five. Okay. Yeah. Just one, two, three, four, swing the arm in and keep that disc out. I okay. want you to actively see the disc out for a second. Okay. I don't think you should turn your head back when yeah. you're throwing normally, but because we're practicing right now, I want you to see the disc out in front of you in line with your um, right eye okay. instead of being behind. Okay. One, two, three, four. Something like that. Similar. You okay. were still straight. Okay. It wasn't as bad. Okay. Right? But I want you to push the disc. I'm going to stand here. I want you to push the disc towards me. Okay. Push the disc towards you. Look at me when you do it too. Make sure that it's up in line. Okay. All right? And just trust your body to rip through. Okay. Two, three, four. <laughs> I don't think I moved the arm ahead. So your reach back was good, but then you, you were like, this feels unnatural. Yeah, so yeah. you then went back to what was natural and you pulled okay. across the neck. Huh. Okay. And that's, okay. this is where reps uh, are needed. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I did it that way. Yeah, so that was a uh, straight reach back to rounding. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna keep practicing these even if you shank the next 20. Okay. And the reason why I want you to do that is because um, I think your standstill is pretty strong. Okay. I think that what you need to do is to practice syncing up everything together okay. on your walk up. One, two. <laughs> Put the disc at me, look at me yeah. when you, before you rip. One, two, three. Yeah. I still think I did this and didn't fall through correctly. Some something like that. It, it, at this point, it's um, it's your body fighting against the new instruction, and so because you're used to coming down okay. from a straight reach back, mm -hmm. you're releasing it now on hyzer because you're out and flat. Okay. So you were here. Sorry, you were. Your reach back used to be here mm -hmm. on anheuser. Yeah. Come down. Right? Yeah. And you're yanking out this way and it comes out flat. Okay. And when you're out here, what's happening is you're coming through and you're releasing on hyzer. Okay. That's not a fix that's going to happen in a day. Okay. But um, your reach back has gotten better since you were pushing the disc towards me. Okay. So when you're doing this at home, and I think I had Sean do this okay. uh, out in field, is, is have like a, a bed post or a pole or something there. Okay. Point towards And when it. you're coming back, don't pull through, but just push the disc and leave it there. Towards that, yeah. Look and keep it in line okay. with some object there. Okay. And then from there, slowly let your body come through and the disc to come through on a flat plane. Mm -hmm. And one like thing I think that gets overlooked, especially I do this a lot, okay. is I hike my shoulder up when I throw. Okay. I mean, you do that too. Yeah, yeah. So when, what I have to do is I have to remember I got to push my shoulder out and I have to push it down. Okay. And it feels really weird and uncomfortable because my shoulder wants to hike up. Okay, okay, yeah. But if you look at every pro, their, their shoulders are, are rock steady right here. Okay. So when they're coming through, they're coming on a straight line. Okay. What happens when I hike my shoulder up is now I'm here and I'm pulling in this angle where my forearm's not yeah. parallel to the ground and I swoop. So pay attention to the shoulder while you're working on this. Okay. Okay? Let me do. I think that's better. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> that was smooth. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do it for this training session. Drew gave me a lot to think about 
He showed me what to do in that training session, giving me tips and pointers to try and get me to change my actions. Also, while I edited this video, I reviewed the footage several times during every one of my throws in slow motion and I moved the slider back and forth to better understand what I was doing. And while I was doing a lot wrong, even at the end of this video, I now have a lot more information to use to try and change my behavior when I throw. Josh Hett showed up, uh, so Drew and I joined him for a round of disc golf after that. Uh, tomorrow I'll release a few highlight throws of mine from that round and then following that will be another video, a dual video between those two as Drew tries to beat his own previous best score at that course using only MVP discs. You won't want to miss these videos. I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have a lot more interesting disc golf videos coming out. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.